Okay, so one of the first things that we need to cover is structure and formatting of our resume. So one thing to keep in mind is each section, each um, component really is going to serve a different purpose. Okay, we can see that here, the words experience, education, skills, and awards are blue and they share the same font. Okay, the font size, style, and color are all the same as each other. Those are the headings of each category, each section of the resume, and we should have that consistent um, font for every heading. Now within those categories, uh, the main text is all this same text style, font, size, color, everything as each other, right? So the, the primary portion of it that's going to have some, um, like the, the explanations and the descriptions, that's also going to be um, consistent throughout, okay? So really, we need to make sure that our format stays consistent because if we start messing with and adding in a bunch more font styles or colors, it's going to be distracting and your uh, potential employer is not gonna know where to look. It's going to be all over the place and we wanna make it very streamlined. So we wanna make sure that the heading of each category is one specific style, color, font, um, font structure. And then within that, if there are any other kind of subcomponents, it carries that same structure, right? So the company, location, job title, the school name, location, degree. So we've got that even amongst the different categories, we've got a similar structure, a similar format. We want to make sure that those formats stay the same. So if you bold anything, if you bold the company's name for your first posting and experience, then you need to make sure that you bold the company name and your school name as well, any other time that it is kind of a subheading. Okay. Uh, so this is just a quick little explanation of making sure that we have the format and structure similar throughout the entire resume, because that's going to make it look nice and neat and make sure that your potential employer knows where to look and what to look for, okay? And the same goes for any different type of, even if you're using a template, it already comes pre-formatted. Um, in this one, we've got the titles of the sections over on the left. And then within here, you can see that the company name slash job title is the same structure as the school name slash degree. The length of time worked at that job is the same structure as the length of time spent at that school. So it's going to have a similar structure throughout the entire resume, um, even as you're moving from section to section. And that is key.